Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share how to do a knockout text in Cricut Design Space. And I've had a few people ask me to do a tutorial on this with the new Cricut update. And I do not have a tutorial on how to do this on my channel. So I thought that I would share that today. So the first thing that you do is I'm going to click on text and I'm going to go up to font and you want to do a bold font. So I am going to do impact. And if this is a little too bold for you, Times New Roman is another good font for this. So I'm just going to type in a random name. So I will do Smith. And then I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see it. And let's see. And then I'm going to go up to letter space and I'm going to move these letters a little closer together. You want the letters so they're almost touching. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to click on text again. And I'm going to go up to my font and I'm going to choose uh, change it to I love glitter. I downloaded this off of defont.com and if you want to see how I downloaded this, I have a video on how to do that so I will link that down below. And I'm just going to make up a couple names here. But you want to have the little swish on the ends and a heart in the middle. This is fun to do for um, wedding gifts. So I'm going to do an open bracket and that will give that little swish there. And then I'm going to type in John. And I'm going to do it lowercase. I like how it looks lowercase. And then I'm going to do an underscore for the heart. And then I'm just going to type in Mary. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to bring these letters together as well. So I'm going to go up to letter space and I'm going to start bringing these in. Oh, and I forgot to do the other swish. So let me double click. At the end of Mary, you want to do the other open bracket here and that'll give you the other little swish there. So now I'm just going to start bringing these letters in again. Okay, that looks pretty good except I want this to connect over here so I'm going to click ungroup at the top and I am just going to move this inward. I might just adjust these a little bit too. Okay, I like how that looks. So now what I want to do is I'm going to select all of these. I usually like to take my mouse and drag the cursor over it. And then I'm going to click Weld. Okay, so that's all welded together. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to bring it over Smith. I'm going to change this color so it's a little easier to see. So up here is where the color section is. So I'm going to select that and click a blue color. And then I'm just going to fit this inside of the name. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see. Like how that looks you can make it whatever size you want but I like that there so now the next thing that you want to do is John and Mary you're gonna select that and you want to make this a print that cut image the reason why we do this is because we want a shadow of this font here and then we're going to slice it out of the last name Smith so we do not want to print anything but we actually are gonna pretend like we're gonna print it so let me go up right here where it says fill when you click on that it'll say print so you want to change it. Right now it's a cut image. You can see over here, you want to switch it to a print image. So then after that, you want to click on make it at the top here. And you can see here is our print image. So what we're going to do next is hit continue. And we're going to hit send to printer. And then we're not actually going to print where it says print here. We are just going to save this onto our computer. And you want to make sure that the bleed is turned on. It should be because it just automatically does that. But if not, you want it turned on. And you are going to right click and hit save image as. 
And then I am just going to save it as knockout text. Okay, so I saved that. I'm going to click out of here because we're not actually going to print it. And then I'm going to hit cancel and yes, cancel cut. And it'll bring me back to my design space. So the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to uploads. And you're going to go to upload image. And you're going to search for your image here. And I'm just going to type in knockout text. Okay, so we have that. I'm just going to do simple. Hit continue. And then we want to erase everything but this blue shadow. So what I like to do is zoom in on this. And then I'm just going to select the background. You're just going to kind of hit everything here. I'm going to grab my eraser and there's a little bit right there that I want to erase. And then I like to hit preview just to make sure there's no other leftover lines on the outside. And that looks good. So now I'm going to click on continue. And if you scroll down, you can see it says save as a cut image, which we want to do that. So I'm going to select this and save it as a cut image. And then I'm going to select it and insert the image into design space. So now what we want to do is we want to turn it um, so it's facing the same way. And then I'm going to make it the same size as John and Mary. So John and Mary is 7.297 for the width. So I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to select this and I'm just going to copy that or paste it into the width section. And then I'll hit and turn my keyboard. Okay, so we have this. I am going to change this to a different color as well so it's easy to visualize it. So the next thing you want to do is move John and Mary out of the way and you want to move this shadow piece over your image. And I also want to make sure that I turned it the right way. Sometimes it's hard when you're turning this here to make sure that it's the same angle. So what I want to do is kind of bring this over it just to see, um, make sure it fits in there. So, okay, so we're just going to see if it's lined up pretty good. Okay, we're just going to try that. So I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to hit move, uh, send back. So now I'm just going to line this up where I want it. I like how it's lined up there. So now what you want to do is select Smith and this piece here. So I'm just going to drag my cursor over these two. And I am going to hit slice. So those will that will slice this whole piece out of here. So now I like to move Smith aside and there's like three different pieces here. You're just going to want to delete all of those. We'll move Smith back up and then we're going to move John and Mary right in the center here. And now when you have John and Mary in here, you can kind of move it around so it fits how you like it. You can even make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks cute. So now um, this is finished. You can add established at the bottom. I have seen people do um, the I Love Glitter font and doing EST and then using their um, other font and putting the year that person is getting married and it just adds a little cute little touch to it. But I am just showing you how to do the knockout part today. So now the next thing that you see here is this um, piece is still at a print and cut and you want this to be a cut image. So you want to go up here and where it says print you want to select that and hit no fill and it changes it back to a cut image. So now we have both of these as a cut image. The next thing that I like to do is once I know that it's completely finished and I have it how I like it, I am going to select all of this and I am going to select, you could do it that way or you can just hit select all right here, which sometimes that's really easy to do it that way too. And then I am going to select weld. 
and that'll make it all one piece. And you can see up here that it's um, the cut image, it's all one piece. And also, if you want this, um, the Smith to be one color and John and Mary to be another color, you do not have to weld it together. If you click, uh, if I click undo, and let's say you want Smith to be the black color and John and Mary to be blue, and when you click on make it, it'll just bring it to different mats and you'll just have to line the vinyl up inside of Smith. And then after that, we'll just click on make it and it'll bring us over to our mat here and then you can just cut it out on whatever material you want to. Um, you can do vinyl and put the vinyl on wood or um, a metal tray. You can do it on something like that. Okay, and that is basically it for the knockout text. If you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below and I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you are new to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Have a good day.